What's up Design Nation? In this session, I'm going to be going over your parking layout for the site design vignette in the site planning and design portion of the AREs. Your parking is going to take up a ton of space. So it should be one of the first things that you draw before you start to refine your design. Um, and actually on my exam before I realized it, two of my buildings were too close. And so when I was going back and checking, I realized that uh, my buildings were too close and uh, I had to move them across the site. So it pretty much changed my entire layout. And the only thing that um, saved me was having a parking layout that made sense and I could easily modify. So in this session, I'm going to teach you how to do a parking layout quick and efficiently. Um, so that way, if you happen to make any mistakes, you can correct them. Uh, you have the time to correct them or you uh, have time to really go over everything that you have and, and make sure that you haven't made any mistakes. So to first start drawing, I don't like to do any sketch, um, anything sketch related for the parking layout uh, just because uh, I don't think you need it. So you go to draw and then go down to driveway and um, let's say if I wanted to come off of Bentley Avenue I would just click and do one straight line. I'm holding shift that actually works in this program. Um, you can hold shift to lock so that um, your driveway or whatever is orthogonal. So I'm just going to click there, double click and now I have this straight line. Um, I like to do this with straight lines um, just by pieces because it's easier to modify. You start to add uh, zigzags like this it becomes difficult to modify. Um, so if I wanted to get this line to be straight, um, you have to sort of eyeball it um, because the shift thing doesn't work at that point. So uh, and then you get these jagged lines and, and um, sometimes it doesn't work uh, well. This stuff starts to overlap and doesn't do what you want it to do. I'm just going to erase that. Um, so basically draw your straight, your straight path um, you can curve this if you want, but um, I would say any of your straight paths, um, try to get it to be as straight as possible, um, any single unit. And then, um, and then I'm going to just come in here, hold shift, and do some, um, do some long overlapping driveways. So I'm essentially making a tic-tac-toe grid and then I'm going to come in and do my standard spaces um, for this I'm just going to do 10 and I'm just looking down here at the bottom where it has uh, your space width just make sure um, let's say it's at 9 foot and then 18 foot long and then just do that again I've also noticed with this that, um, let me just zoom in here, that sometimes your parking spaces, uh, they'll be the right size, but they don't visually look the right size. It's just something to be aware of. Nine foot, 18, just draw another one. Do one more. Standard spaces. I'm not going to do um, the handicap parking for this, but I'm just showing you how to lay out your stuff. Just do one more. 18. All right. So now what I'll do is use the move group tool, and I'll move this so that it's right. Let's say if I wanted to have, if you wanted to have a planting buffer here, you could have it. You just plop that there and just take all of these and move them to where you want them to be on the other side of the drive aisle. Um, I know a lot of people are putting five foot buffers here. I don't think the, the vignette requires it, but um, you could have one that is different. Just select a few times before you get the, the one you want. And this one I'm going to have to rotate. I'm 
holding shift here, but move group. Let me bring this right up to here. Uh, now I have this essential aisle. Um, if I place this one, uh, this parking stall down here, I wouldn't quite work. So I'm just going to move this group as well. Just bring it right up to the bottom of there. Move this group. Oop, that one's one tick too far. There we go. I'm going to zoom out now. So now I have a pretty efficient parking layout. And I'm just going to move this. into here and then uh, adjust my my lane so that it goes um, just on the other side of the, the dash lines and this is a really quick and efficient way to do your parking layout and that way if you need to adjust something you can easily do that so there you go, you have your aisle coming in, you have your parking, and if you need more spaces, you can add them. Um, so hopefully this helps you on your vignette. I know the parking can be sort of frustrating if you don't know the tools. If you thought this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you think you need help on the multiple choice portion of the exam, you can head over to designerhacks.com forward slash SPD. There's a quiz there waiting for you, so you can just take that and sort of see where you're at or you can use that as a study tool uh, in its own right. There's also a list of other resources that you can use to help study for the exam. Again, thanks for watching, and as always, happy hacking. All right, designers, just because this episode of Designer Hacks is over doesn't mean we're leaving you out in the cold. Tony's got tons of great content available at designerhacks.com. So join Design Nation right now, and we'll see you on the next episode of Designer Hacks.